Tim says, I canceled Netflix and every other subscription I had like Audible, etc. See, some people, get, some people need to do this. You need to radically cut distractions out just for a period of time. I'm not actually, I'm not asking you to do it for the rest of your life. I'm saying, can we do it until you get to a positive cash flow of say 500 bucks a month to a thousand bucks a month to $1,500 a month to 2000 a month? For a period of time, can we wipe out some debt, increase our cash flow by 500,000, right? Whatever it is. And then reward yourself with maybe a vacation instead of, you know, waste, you know, or reward yourself with a gift, you know, put the Netflix back in or put the Disney Plus or the Hulu or the Spotify, whatever it is. Allison says, if you're a student or if you have kids that are students, you can really take advantage of student discounts such as Spotify and Hulu. This is a factual statement, okay? So if you have a kid, right, that's in college, get them to sign up for Netflix, the Hulu, the, the Disney Plus. There's all these discounts that students get and you can, use, you can use their login. So when they're not watching Netflix, you watch it, right? When you're not watching, they watch it, right? Or if you need multiple screens, I mean, you're still getting a discount. So that's not bad at all. Shout out to my one and only. Frank says, need to figure out how to lower my cable bill. I'm telling you, there's something called Sling TV. You've got freaking the Fire Stick, this thing called Black Box. There, there's, there's all these alternatives to the Comcast, the Direct TV, the Time Warner cable. You know, it, it, there's so many other options than those freaking things, man. You, you get killed. <laughs>